Talk about a quarter. Record revenue, record employments, your load factor, close to an all-time high, may have been in an all-time high. Paint a picture of what you're seeing in, in terms of the demand that's out there right now. You bet, Phil. Hey, thanks for coming to our Network Ops Center. I mean, as you can tell, this is where we uh, run the operation with our terrific employees, so welcome. But no, it's a great quarter. We've got record revenues. Uh, we've got record passengers. We've got, we tied for a record load factor. And, and if you look at our fourth quarter guide, those trends continue into the fourth quarter. Uh, we're looking for up revenues again on even down capacity. And the goal is to continue all that momentum into 2023. You would add even more flights and, and be carrying even more passengers if you could have more planes as well as more staffing. Where is, not the slowdown, but where's the pinch point right now? Is it staffing, getting pilots and, and flight attendants that you need, or is it in getting more planes? It's really pilot staffing. In the other areas, we, we aren't perfect, but we're nearly staffed. We are just uh, you know, short pilots to fly all of our aircraft. Uh, our classes are full, we're, we're, we are getting pilots, we're, we are getting great pilots, but our training centers are full. And so we won't catch the aircraft till probably late in 2023. If, uh, if, if we had all the pilots that we needed, we could probably fi uh, fly five to eight percent more ASMs in capacity right wow. now. Now, a big part of this also is getting more of the 737 Maxes. You've got more than 200 on order. You're the launch customer for the Max-7. Right which has not been certified yet. And we've talked at, at length with a number of your uh, colleagues in the industry who have also ordered it, also with Boeing. If it doesn't get certified by the end of the year, do you have to modify your plans at all? Or are you believing that ultimately Congress will come up with a waiver to get this aircraft certified? Well, I don't want to speak for Boeing. And Boeing's been a great partner, by the way. Uh, they're really working this extension question and the certification of the MAX 7. Uh, the, the, the main point is they're working with us. So if we're not going to take a MAX 7 next year, we are simply converting that to a MAX 8. So our fleet plans stay on track there. Uh, I don't think we hit a, a point where that mix of 7s and 8s really becomes a problem until you get into 24 or 25. So even though we are off our delivery plan with Boeing, uh, be, because we are still pilot constrained, it is not affecting our capacity. So we'll be able to fly. But you need that plane certified we, at we, some we, point. We do, but for right now, we'll be able to fly all the capacity we had planned in Q4 of this year and all of 2023. Uh, so that won't be a problem. You just locked in a contract with your customer service agents. We did. And a couple other unions, but you still have the flight attendants and you have the pilots out there. Do you think you get a contract done let's say within the next six months, I don't want to put a deadline out there, but are, how confident are you that progress is being made and it'll get hap it, it will happen? Well, uh, let me start with we want contracts. Our employees are the best in the industry. We want to reward our employees. They're already paid really well. We want to, we want to pay even better. Uh, we, yeah, we've got uh, an agreement with our IEM customer service folks, with our AMFA uh, uh, aircraft appearance folks. I'm, I'm hopeful that we have a few more in the works. And, uh, yeah, I'm optimistic that we'll get to agreements with our pilots and our flight attendants uh, here uh, across the next, uh, you know, uh, near period.